Okay, I made a video on this case skid steer with a major leak previously. And here's the new hose here, the return line, low pressure. And when I went to turn it on, it started squirting out up in this direction. And I kept thinking it was here on this clamp. And then I realized the hose was connected with a zip tie or just rubbing yeah it was a zip tie it was connected with about three different hoses going to the final drive here down in this direction and so the one hose is this hose right here this is where it rubbed out and I just cut this and put a new connector on it here and these, it connects to these steel lines that will go from down here all the way up into here to the final drive. So I saw how rusty this was underneath this cover plate that goes over top. And I knew it wasn't gonna last long. It started twisting. This one actually broke right off when I was loosening it. So I got rubber hoses made to go from here to the final drive as well. Replace those while it's all open. And this other low pressure line, it had a same thing as this, right down there where that hose is open. So I got a, I cut that section out and got a connector and two clamps, it's low pressure. So that will fix that. And these skid steers get so much dirt collected up in here. This is why I'm replacing those ones for now. It's not a quick thing to clean this out after every time you use it. Unless you're going to spend half an hour each day or an hour cleaning out all that dirt. Picking it out of there. That clay, gravel. And this is what it looks like when it's cleaned out. There's so many places for it to go. This is all open like this. The only cover is right here and at the front. But this gets just dirt covered up all up in here. And one of the major problems I found with these is where hoses are connected like this and it gets vibrations that will cause the uh, the hoses to rub right through like this one and uh, leak goes right to the metal underneath this metal braiding and these rubber lines and starts uh, getting a hole through there so it's just squirting right out after I fixed that big hose there so three hoses ended up leaking and then these two here end up having to be replaced so the other side should be good for now and uh, I'll put these ones on and get it back on get it running but once those are fixed those have probably never been replaced once that's replaced it's gonna last quite a long time this is like a 2008 or 2007 so it's quite a while it's lasted less than 3,000 hours but those rubber ones should be a bit more durable than those metal ones